Hi, my name's Irrelevant, and on today's episode, a buddy brings in his USA Jackson Warrior to get looked at. He was having difficulty with the selector switch. It's a bit more informal and disorganized to shoot, but it uh, still edited well. But spoiler alert, Buddy is a connoisseur of the F-bombs. Fuck, I like this. This little workshop for fucking your electronics. Oh, is this a tube tester? Yeah. It kind of works. It kind of works? Yeah, it's probably well out of calibration, but the wires go where they're supposed to, so I can get a pretty good estimation of whether or not the tube actually works, yeah. Oh. Fucking tweak my fucking Metal shit. plates. It's a USA. I've never, in all the guitars I've ever worked on, seen metal black plates. It's a fucking USA. I paid three grand for that guitar. Dennis fucking rewired it. I don't give a fuck if you film it or not. I really don't give a shit. But he put this thing in because he found one. It's used. The plate or the jack itself? The, the plate and the jack. And then he rewired because I put uh, Seymour Duncan, those fucking... Are they invaders, I think they're called? Oh, invaders. There's Seymour Duncan invaders in there. And I traded them to get EMGs. So these were used EMGs? No, those are brand new. I want to put blackouts in it personally. But the parts that he put in there are all used parts. Like what's happening is my switch is fucked and I'm not getting full power out of my fucking pickups. When I'm playing, I have to fucking hit the switch and play with the fucking volumes. And then all of a sudden it starts working. You know what I mean? See how loose that is? And I don't know if that has anything to do with my batteries they fucking explode in this guitar. It's the only guitar I have, the battery fucking explodes. What do you mean, like it leaks? Like it fucking, white shit starts coming out of here, it goes poof, and it explodes. Like it. And how long does it take to get there? Uh, fuck, roughly, what, three months, four months? Really? Yeah, man. Nothing stands out as being wrong. Which like, I see a few techniques that are like, well, if you have more experience, you kind of know to do this this way. Instead, like, for instance, you see how long that cable is? Yeah. But how short it is, and then it goes to this, he spliced it? Yeah. You peel back more of that insulation so that that can go right to the switch. Oh, yeah, okay. Little things like that, but, like, for the most part. And wiring up the pot like this, or the, the tone like this, there's not much you can do about that because the EMG kit is probably, like, a lot closer together, so that had yeah. to be extended. Yeah, that's <clears> fine. <throat> it's just a switch. The switch, something's going on in there where I'm not getting any power. Now, battery leaking after three months, that is very suspicious. Because, like, batteries last years on these things. Well, wow, fuck. I have, what, three other guitars that have fucking batteries, and this is the only one that gives me the, the problems. Looks like all your electrical connections are here. The wires aren't looped. I'd loop the wires. Leaking happens when the battery starts to get really old, right? Yeah. But key term old, after three months, that shouldn't be happening. No. Yeah, it's microamps, and then you unplug it. Turns off like it should. Is it possible your battery is touching the switch? I think I have it like this. It sits in there kind of like that. When was the last time you did setup on this, your Floyd's a bit high. It's been a bit. I set it up in that area so that I could pull back on the lobby bar. Oh, so that's intentional. Yeah. Oh, that's fine then. I guess but there's no rules that say you have to have it flat as long as it You know what happens intonates. is... Mm hmm so the question is... Mm, I'm gonna need a smaller punch than this. Do I even have a punch that'll go through there? That's going to be tricky. Work. Oh, I think I got it. 
basic armory. So basically there's a roll pin going okay. through. Mm -hmm. The roll pin slipped out of one side. Really? I just reseated it. Now the only question is, um, like you have some machinist skills and crap like that, right? Yeah. So you know the concept of a roll pin. Yeah. It might just be a simple case and maybe if it acts up on you again, getting a slightly longer roll pin and fitting it in there and then... Oh well, look, it's working now. Yeah, because I just reseated the roll pin. It popped out on one side and it was sticking out a little bit more this side. Really, eh? And the click is nice and firm now too. We'll try it, see if it's distinctive when you plug it in. Because before I couldn't tell, and sometimes it would stay on the neck pickup, not the bridge, eh? It was, it did, it's been doing a lot of fucked up weird shit lately there. Well, yeah. That's because it's not fucking engaging, right? Because if that thing's not seated properly, it won't make a proper contact from one to the other, right? Yeah, this switch works backwards. It doesn't like push contacts together, it pushes contacts away from each other. I see. So, unless it's, it's like pushing on the contact it's supposed to be, everything's just gonna get turned on. Alright, so we're gonna undo all this. This isn't really necessary in it. Well, this is probably some old EMG foam. Yep. Yeah, it's worn right out. Yeah, I feel, this battery feels a little puffy already. See what I mean? Why is this battery puffing? See, the thing is, these things are so low current, you can pretty much dead short them and they're not really gonna do anything or go anywhere. They're just gonna sit there and... Now one thing I always do, but I'll wrap the battery in electrical tape so that to make sure is the metal enclosure it's in doesn't accidentally touch anything. These things I usually don't do much to, but because this thing can touch there, we're gonna good measure that also. <laughs> fucking roll pin. I'm fucking losing my mind right now. That's, that's good. It means it was a simple problem. It also means there's nothing really wrong with it. The last guy who worked on it, you know, there, there's a little like r rough edges, but for the most part, he knows what he's doing. No, it works. Just that switch is old. The switch is older than the guitar because we didn't have a switch because now, same with, same with this piece here and everything too because of the EMG setup. This is the only oh, one yeah. he had. I was gonna double te test for parasitic drain. So I remember, I just remember that switch being like, he's like, the switch is not the greatest, but it'll work for, for now, and I just kept it, right? And then over time, it started getting more loose and more loose and more loose to the point where I had to really play with it to get, uh -uh. pick up the switch. Well, what do you got? 0.161 milliamps so it's a fraction of a milliamp theoretically which sounds about right because like i think the power drain of these pickups is measured in the microamps yeah it is i might have to replace this uh foam see all i'll do is put the foam over top and just kind of fold it in there and it looks like that will stay put now like that. The only thing I can see doing differently here is I try to avoid letting the contacts touch the side, but I don't know that they are. Like rotating the jack, maybe. No, I think you're well clear. Sometimes guitars have like um, an electrically conductive paint inside of them. Oh yeah, okay, I see. And they do that so it virtually creates a, a whole grounded enclosure around the circuitry. Oh, yeah. So sometimes if pieces of your jack are touching the wood, it's actually kind of conducting. That's grounding out. Yeah, but I don't see any of that paint really in here. Yeah, it's just wood where that would be touching. There's something dark later in there, but that could just be overspray. 